emotion right you will express sometimes your happiness with what sorry wo right wo and oh if you are so excited right so like this with different kinds of the adjectives or with the different kinds of the phrasal verbs we will describe the type of the kinds of emotions or the types of emotions right so any in any kind of the poem it is having a some sort of summary to it will express the whole uh, essence of the whole essence of the or whole concept in the form of stanzas okay the stanzas the line the one line can give you the information of the whole concept the other uh, the poet he will convey the message in the form of the lyrical lines okay so here we in this session we were talking about the mother how the mother will show her love towards a child right how she will make him to grow he or she she will make the child either he is a boy or he or she is a girl how she will uh, born i mean give the birth to the child and how they will brought up and how unconditionally she will express her love towards them that we were discussing now right so our poem name is what my mother who is the poet here rabindranath tagore as you all are aware of this rabindranath tagore right so he is he is a well known poet and a writer and he is the author for the national anthem right so he is the one who framed the national anthem and you already know he awarded the knighthood from the uh, british shows right and he also got many kinds of awards from many countries and he is a well known poet he he wrote one famous book which is so called as geetanjali right right he was you know this rabindranath tagore was uh, i'll give you some points regarding this uh, po <coughs> the arts poet because rabindranath tagore is very famous you know he is absolutely he is very famous for his writings that's why we need to know a little about him that is it there is a need to know about him right so this geetanjali was written by the rabindranath tagore you know from his childhood he was never interested to visit the school or to go to a school he was always in search of learning the new things he was not like a routine he don't like the daily routine he just uh, always when he visited the school or he just went to the school he used to stay outside the school and used to sat uh, in the garden okay or in the open place of the school and there he used to enjoy the new nature around him you know and at the time the poetic words inside him he was inspired and he was so uh, get, uh, he received the pleasure from the surroundings and they he they this where the this paved the way for the right for the wonderful writings okay here <clears throat> here what happens you know here the the poet how he he evolved over the years and how his way of like writing is completely it shows the emotions right he, he will completely make us to fall in that type of the situations whether when it is uh, when you talk about the national anthem it will completely fill our hearts with the patriotism whereas when you take this type of when you when at the end of this poem you will understand that how he explained the uh, unconditional love or the bond or the relationship between a mother and his newly born child or the child uh, how she looks how she stares at the child towards the child how she will softly and how she will uh, hum uh, to make him to sleep to go to the sleep uh, like that that little little emotions that how he conveyed in this poem that we were discussing now right so initially one mother is there okay so she uh, she gave birth to a son then she uh, she arranged the cradle as you all know that what is the place where the people will keep the young ones right in the cradle 
right so after when you uh, keep them in the cradle when you rock when you move it to the swing with the swings of the cradle they will fall asleep right so when you swing the cradle or when you move the cradle with the help of your uh, hands or with any other thing when it is swinging when it is making the oscillations from one point to the other point with that swings they will fall asleep right so here the uh, mother also uh, keeps the son in the cradle and she moves and she rocks the cradle okay by with what with little humming she will give a small hum to the uh, while she was moving the cradle as the cr cradle was swinging from one point to other point and the mother was singing a song for the son and he will feel so joyful and he will feel and he will compare that her uh, mother was singing so sweetly as like a honey and she was mo moving the cradle he was getting the pleasure to fall asleep okay not because of the rotations that are made by the cradle the swings made by the cradle not because of that the child is sleeping because of the warm nature that is shown by the and the hums that are released what is humming humming is little noise that is produced right so the humming is the small sounds or small songs small sounds or feeble sounds that are coming out of your mouth then it is termed as a humming right you will always hum uh, the songs right uh, little stanzas you will always uh, repeating that only so here also the mom of the child is repeating that humming and she was humming to make her child to sleep in the uh, bright the uh, on the bright the stars were beaming right and they were producing their light across the twinkle twinkle where the stars were twinkling she was humming and she was sweetly giving the pleasure to this child as she was making the swings to the uh, the cradle the boy was or the son or the girl was sleeping it is she, uh, she or he was going to the sleep here okay so you can say that here the rabindranath tagore he made a great great he gave a great stanzas to explain the uh, bond really uh, bond between these two the between these two uh, between these two mother and the child okay and you know here what happens in the next stanza when you go for the second uh, stanza of your poem there he explains and he explains that how the child enjoyed the uh, humming of her mother while it was autumn as you all know what is autumn you know the seasons right you know the seasons right what are the seasons that we are having autumn summer spring winter rainy right so the one which comes before the summer and after the winter it is called as the autumn there the you are not completely it is not completely the humid condition and it is not completely the sunny right so then it is termed as the season of what it is termed as the season of autumn right so here during the autumn season he cannot remember this completely but he was saying that while she was humming and moving the cradle of the child there was a good blossom uh, there is a good scent is coming out of the surely flowers what are these surely flowers what are these surely flowers they are the jasmine jasmine flowers so excellent the scent is coming the smell the fragrance we can say that the surely flowers they will give a uh, excellent fragrance during night right when you uh, smell the jasmine flowers during the night they'll give a uh, excellent fragrance 
right which is a natural excellent fragrance which cannot be compared with the room sprays or other kind of sprays which are a mixture of the chemicals right but here the scent the, which is coming from the blossom of the jasmine flowers or the jasmine flowers are giving the fragrance a good fragrance right with that the light which is coming from the uh, and the light the scent which is coming from the nature and the mother is humming to make the child to fall asleep which is very 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 uncomparable with anything it is so joyful and also it completely made the child to feel so happy it made the child to feel so happy and so so yes he are he clearly depicting one thing he clearly conveys that in the second stanza the scent of the flowers made he cannot remember whether the season is autumn season or not but the smell which is coming and the swings which are made by her mother by his mother and also the humming which is coming from her mouth of the mother which was so pleasant as like that of what as like that of the fragrance of shirley flowers which are the jasmine flowers and again at the last stanza of the poem which says that he he is not remembering completely but as he was so small but he can remember one thing that the mother was watching her son so he, she was staring at son what is staring students staring is the looking at looking i'll write clearly right so i'll write here staring right what is staring staring is looking continuously right looking continuously or a uh, towards something that it is so called as the staring so the action or the look that we will sometimes when you watch a beauty or a wonder we look at it continuously without blinking our eyes right means that that is the action of staring here right here also it is a uh, the mother is watching or it is staring she is staring at her child so keenly right as she was like with the pride and with uh, full of satisfaction she is getting when she is watching her child okay so the sun when she was looking at her she was gazing that's why the other uses here one word which is so called as gaze what is gaze gaze is the i said you when you just watch anything keenly then it is termed as gaze the mother gazed at her child right so the mother gazed at her child as he here the child is comparing that when the mother is gazed at her child he is comparing that other the ravindranath tagore he is comparing here that the gazing is looking like a uh, how the stars how the stars they were arranged in the sky when the stars they are at the night when a full moon day it is how the stars will give you a beam of light coming out of it right so when they are twinkling in a full moon day how the light will come out of it the galaxy the constellations how they will give you a beam of light the focus right so how it looks so wonderful right here also the mother with this full of jet how bright it is how the how bright the constellation will be how when the uh, stars when they are twinkling how they will give you the uh, beam right how they will give you the focus the the uh, the light it will shatter the reflection right how bright they will look how beautiful they are here also the mother is compared with that the mother's gazing is compared with that of the galaxy also here how wonderfully he compared that what all we learn students we learn that my mother who is the one saying here the child who is in the cradle he is describing about her 
mother. Then who is the author of this lesson, author of this poem? You know, I said you the difference between uh, prose and also the poetry. Prose is a direct conversation, right? Whereas when you convey a message through some different phrases and some rhyming words, when you convey a message with continuous rhyming words and also with some excellent phrasal verbs and adjectives then it is so termed as what it is a poem you will lyrically you will arrange the sentences and you will convey your message indirectly so that is so called as a poem right but the poem itself when it is one line or two lines it will have a lots of information which is uh, it is a collection of the words and sentences collection of message the poem is in this poem, the mother is showing the love towards, the unconditional love towards a child is explained in the poem, the mother. Okay, my mother. So here what in the first chapter she will do? She will be making, uh, she will taking, uh, she is taking her child and she is keeping him or in the, him or her in the cradle and she was rocking the cradle as with the swing and also the humming which is making the child to feel so pleasure and joyful and thereby here the baby uh, or the child whether it is a boy or a girl he fall or she falls asleep. Right? So, later in the second stanza, the, the author here is comparing the mother, how she was so care and, and how she is showing uh, complete love towards his son. She was, as it was autumn season, uh, he, he cannot remember it completely, but he was saying that it was autumn season. There, he, the new blossom are coming here and there is an excellent uh, fragrance of the Shirley flowers, which are so called as the jasmine flowers with that excellent fragrance when it is coming that with, the, with this humming of her mother and the swing which was made by her mom, he is feeling so pleasure and joyful and thereby he was explaining how he was cared about by his mother and in the last stanza this uh, this uh, this poet explains that how the mother how she was gazed uh, gazing at her child how she how she is gazing at her child she was gazing as this gazing is compared with that of what with the, with the top of galaxy with the top of stars which are brightly twinkling at the sky how the constellation and galaxy will be they were so highly focused right likewise here they are also compared here like that only her mother his mother gazing is compared with that of that bright constellation and so that his other is completely conveying us the message that uh, the mother shows and the mother gives ultimate the pleasure and also the joy to any the child when he is looking at her mother's face the mother's face is completely filled with the joy and he's uh, and she is looking at her child so with the pride like something she was receiving a surprise wonderfully she was locked she was when she was freezed with a surprise how she will look uh, how she will react in that situation likewise here also she was reacting when the baby is just in the cradle when she is when it is swinging when he or she is swinging here this mother is also feeling unconditionally so happy because of the baby because of the baby so this is the major uh, uh, this is the major lines that were given by the Rabindranath Tagore uh, Rabindranath Tagore and now uh, we were talking about the great history of the Rabindranath Tagore let me give you the again the glance uh, let me have a glance about the Rabindranath Tagore again because he in the two to three stanzas how excellently he explained about the uh, mother and the child he is so small but he, he can understand the love of her mother right so how excellently he compared with the small small things right here also we were now again talking about the Rabindranath Tagore Rabindranath Tagore is what he is an excellent poet he is he wrote Gitanjali and offerings also right at the words he is considered as a voice of spiritualism 
because he will completely make us to fall in these all the emotions whenever he explains something either it is of a love his his poem are a collection of love either it is shown by the father or the mother right so that's why he is giving a lot of prizes and i said you in the beginning that he is he is the one who who wrote this who has written this national anthem so when you re, when you just saying the stanzas of the national anthem your heart is completely filled with this patriotism right so that's why he is giving the knighthood ship or even the british has also awarded him with the knighthood ship right the what so that's why he got many things right but that's why he's considered he is a notable landmark stone like pillar in the indian poet in the indian poet i mean indian literature english literature he was com- considered as one of the uh, pioneer means pioneer in the sense he is we achieved he achieved the climbs okay he is one of the pioneer in the achievements uh, in the field of literature so we have finished the uh, we have pe- we have finished the what we have finished the my mother right what all the difficult words that we have seen students staring grace shali flowers and uh, autumn right and humming so these are all the different words that we have come across in this stanzas and we are also having some glossary that we will discuss in the later session the grammar part of the session we are having a separate lecture for the grammar okay there we will discuss about it and we will also provide you the worksheets here but apart from that now we'll talk about the other thing which is so called as a letter to a friend what is a letter to a friend so we'll write it and we'll uh, write a letter to the friend okay so so let me give you a quick recap regarding the summary of this poem the my mother my mother is a i'm t- i'm saying in the child manner my mother here the child is explaining about the mother and he is explaining about the unconditional love what is unconditional love extreme love which cannot be measured okay you cannot measure the love of a mother right every every parent they want their kids to be so happy either in the education or their uh, their career or in any other manner here as this child is so small here the poet is comparing this unconditional love of a mother uh, between the mother and the child the bond the relationship between them okay so in the first chapter explains about how the mother is reacting and how the mother is giving the pleasure to the uh, kid how she was swinging the cradle right so where the chil- uh, where the children will stay in the cradle right so uh, they want always they will sleep in the cradle they always when you swing them when you make it to move with the help of when you rock it then the time with the help of the movement they will fall asleep right so here here also we this mother is moving that but apart from that she was looking at her uh, she was looking at her child with so pride and surprise like she was watching a, a beautiful monument right as when we are surprised with any of the gift how we will feel we will feel with the uh, so much of joy likewise here also the mother is completely uh, filled with this joy surprise and a lot of good pleasure she is getting when she is watching she is watching a child with pride i mean the proud so here the author is comparing that mother's bond with the child and the child is also replying you with the help of how the child felt that that emotion is also completely balanced in this poem the the child is also saying that i remember that yes my mother when she was moving when she was rocking my cradle when she was moving my cradle the little fragrance is coming from outside of the garden or the veranda so uh, the uh, the garden the excellent fragrance which is coming and it is filling my nostrils my nose which is so pleasant 
I cannot see with and with this with how the fragrance is so uh, pleasant likewise my mother's humming is also so pleasant to me and thereby it, it gives me a lot of pleasure joy and it completely fills my heart with the pleasure and I completely falls asleep and here again the, the flowers he, here the other use is what the poet used surely flowers right and at finally the mother looks at the child with pride and joy and he compares that he, I don't remember it is an uh, autumn season I don't remember that it is a surely flower or not and he is comparing the views of her mother views of his mother with the galaxy and constellations how the stars will twinkle and how the beam of light that will come the reflection how a focused it one likewise my mother's gazing is also compared with that of a astral sky constellations he compared this all and the poet is completely a uh, significant and you can see his contributions his writings are so excellent as they are compared with the uh, as they are uh, that's why he is considered as a voice of spiritualism we can consider as him as the pioneer of the English literature because of his this wonderful writings because the other field and the other real makes made us to realize the relationship the bond between a mother and a child and he filled with a small words he showed the love and he, he made us to recognize that all the essence of the poem within just 10 to 12 lines this is so significant right that's why the poems are so important less like a prose okay so and he's offered that's why he wrote many number of the famous books such as the Gita Anjali the offerings right and he offered many of the awards also apart from all the six that's why he became so popular right his uh, national anthem is also very very popular and he wrote for Bangladesh also that is so called as Amar Sonar Bangla so that we all know we'll be discussing about uh, other parts of glossary and some uh, non uh, noun and adjectives also uh, the phrases noun and phrasal verbs also what is a noun students what is a noun noun is a collection of what so in the grammar part when you check it you are having here the noun right so you are having here in the glossary part hover and uh, in the in the glossary you are having the hover what is hover here the glossary shows us the hover what is hover here remain in the air when you are swinging so i'll rub it neatly so that it will be nice right so what is uh, I'll write neatly hover hover is what remain in the air remain in air when you are in a swing in the cradle how when someone is moving you how you will feel you will be flying in the air right you will be you will be feeling that you are flying in the air so uh, here some verbs are also some the expressions are also used here the mother was rocking the cradle with humming right so the mother was rocking the cradle with what the mother was rocking the cradle with singing a song what does this mean when she was moving the cradle and she was singing a song where that these all will go they will go the action was received by it was censored by what it was censored by the ears right what is the expression used here right mother was rocking the cradle And singing a song right what does this expression mean that this here the mother is singing a song and she was expressing her views I mean she was expressing her uh, love by singing a song what is the singing a song 
that humming she is showing here right the humming the hum or humming 